Okay, um, I'm Heidi Edmondson and I'm one of the emergency consultants here in the Whittington Emergency Department. I had the idea to write the book because it occurred to me most children's experience in hospital is coming into the emergency department and in turn a lot of adults first experience of hospital is being in the emergency department as a child but there's actually very little of anything to prepare people for these visits and by their nature they are generally unexpected and can be quite stressful to people. I also thought a lot about it and realised that as a doctor and as adults we're quite often guilty of assuming what children are sort of thinking or feeling or, or what they're noticing. So the whole process to get the book done was um, working with the children in a series of workshops, discussion groups, question and answer sessions and visits to the department and really the book is based on all their own personal observations of what they thought was interesting or amusing or important or what really captured their imaginations. So it was nothing that I said or told them to write, it really is from their own experience. I think they have become in a way experts on what a visit to the emergency department's like and hopefully in the book they can help and inform and tell other children what to expect when they come to the department. I think they've also probably taught me several things about what the children are expecting when they come to the department. Um, the other aspect of the project that was very pleasurable for me was to work on a community-based project. Hopefully I've gone out to work with a local school and together we've created something that will improve experience for the local community when they come to the hospital. Well, I've been at Wright and Residence at Grafton Primary School, which is just uh, off the Holloway Road, just down the road. And uh, Heidi came and approached about, what, 15 months ago, saying that she'd like to, um, to kind of do something creative that uh, somehow communicates an understanding of the experience of a child coming into the emergency department. Uh, and so what we did, we had a really interesting time. One of the junior doctors came into school, children interviewed them, and they were asking kind of very pointed questions about what they do, including how much they earn, which they were very interested in, and uh, <laughs> kind of a whole range of questions, and, um, and which doctors do the doctors go to see if they need to, you know, have anything done. Uh, so they asked some great questions, uh, and then we did a, an assembly uh, this time last year at the school, which uh, went down very well, uh, and Heidi came to that, and she said, we would like you to do more. So she got together, the, the hospital have amazingly funded this publication, so thank you to the Whittington and to Deborah for enabling that. And, um, and then we, we came down, and one of the things we did which was really interesting in the process of writing this book, we did lots of interviews with doctors and nurses, and they also did something which they went into role with a problem. So at school they did drama and they worked out what was wrong with them. Uh, and then they worked out how the problem happened. I think they all chose accidents rather than illnesses. So they all acted out in one of the classrooms how they fell on, out of the tree or got run over or slipped on ice. And then they wrote up as if it had really happened to them. And then we had an amazing experience where they came in to Amy with it's the Amy Murphy's school with their problem. And they first had an interview with the triage nurse, and they were in character as the character they created with someone broke a wrist and someone kind of had uh, something in their ear, someone else had damaged their leg. And they got interviewed and they got put into order as triage and the triage nurse told them what they do. Uh, and then they had a consultation with Heidi where Heidi took them into a consultation room and it, we all watched while she said what she would do to treat each child with the problem they have. So they kind of went through this experiential um, role play right through the process and got diagnosed and then they went off and wrote about it. So they come at it from all sorts of angles, from looking at it from the doctor's point of view, to looking at it from what it's like to have a problem. You're often, a lot of them also drew on their life experience of coming here themselves or with siblings uh, and be going, really going through A&E. So it's been a mixture of simulation, life experience, and it's, um, it's been absolutely fascinating. And Heidi's been amazing and really supportive. And we also want to thank Alex who is in here today because they helped the children design the leaflet. So what happened was she would come into school, they did all the illustrations and all the writing. I helped guide them through and edited it. And um, Alex would 
to have design consultation meetings and they were given instructions like a bunch of professionals. I was amazed by their attitude. They were giving them instructions on font, on layout, on what they required. They've been incredible. So here are the authors and they're going to now do readings for you. So uh, these are readings from their booklet of their writing. Izzy's leg. Hi, I'm Izzy, I'm 12 and I'm reporting to you from a tree. It's a warm day and bees are buzzing and birds are tweeting and... Ah! I'm falling. The picture's gone funny. My leg snapped. Oh no, the pain's so strong. Ah! What's going to happen? Don't panic. Now if you want to be a doctor or a nurse, the one thing you have to be good at is reassuring a patient. I will be a strict teacher and I will instruct you so you learn how to calm a patient down. Lesson number one, do not shout. Lesson number two, don't think, don't say things like, don't panic. <laughs> Lesson number three, don't pretend that you have no idea what you're doing. Lesson number four, do not lie to them. It won't help at all. Lesson number five, keep yourself calm, otherwise it will be a lot harder to calm anyone else. Lesson number six, don't threaten the patient as it will, as it will only make matters worse. <laughs> Lesson number seven, if you, are suffering, if you are suffering severe stress, get another job. <laughs> Lesson number eight, if your patient continu continu continuously tries to run away, then install a naughty step with chairs. But don't blame me if the police come knocking at your door. So I hope that this will help you when you're older. Things to do while you're waiting. One, fiddle with your fingers. Two, pretend to be an animal of your choosing, like a monkey or a snake or a terrapin. Three, watch a program or film on TV, then watch it again and learn the script off by heart. <laughs> Four, pick your nose and make shapes with your snot. Five, do free writing, make up a phrase like, I am waiting at, or how much longer. This will be your anchor phrase that you use to begin your writing. Then keep writing without stopping and go on and on and on without stopping until the doctor sees you, by which time you'll have written your first book. <laughs> Six, read a book or leaflet to your carer or yourself. Read it backwards. Seven, play games with toys in the corner. Let the toys play games with you. Eight, bounce on the chairs in your imagination. Chair hop in your dreams and become a chair for real. Thank you.